A very good morning boys and girls and welcome to our assembly this morning. Today I'm going to talk to you about the ascension of Jesus into heaven. But first of all I suppose we need to ask ourselves what does ascension mean? Have you ever heard the word to ascend or ascend? Maybe you've heard the word descend. Okay, well done if you have, and if you haven't, I'll just explain it. Uh, imagine someone is going to climb up a mountain and they begin at the b uh, bottom and slowly they begin to ascend. They make their way up to the top of the mountain. So there's the climber right at the top of the mountain, at the summit of the mountain. And then when you're coming back down, the climber will make their way back down the mountain and descend. Okay, guys, have you got that? So ascend is to go upwards and descend is to go downwards. It's like uh, m m many of you have probably been on a plane, have you? You've traveled somewhere, maybe on holiday or you visited somewhere and you flew there by plane. Well, at first the plane ascends, it takes off from the airport and it rises into the sky and then it levels off and then it begins to descend when it's coming into the other airport when it's getting ready to come into to land. And likewise, when we look into the sky and we see birds flying, birds ascending in the air, they're getting higher in the air and then they begin to descend as they get lower in the air. Well, boys and girls, you might remember this display from our uh, Holy Week services. So I'm just going to turn this, uh, what I was using as a mountain, I'm just going to turn it around. I'm going to reveal for us there. Uh, can you see what this is? Yes, this is the tomb where Jesus was laid after he was crucified. Do you remember um, Jesus was laid in the tomb? And his disciples thought they'd never see him again. And then an angel appeared to to the ladies who had come to the tomb. A man dressed in white, we're told in the scriptures, appeared to the women who had come to the tomb and assured them that Jesus had risen from the dead and that he would meet his disciples in Galilee. And that's exactly what happened. Jesus went and met his disciples in Galilee. Now, when Jesus uh, was crucified, when he was put to death on the cross by Pontius Pilate, his disciples thought that they would never see him again. Even the women who were, were the first to hear that Jesus had actually risen from the dead, they went to the tomb expecting to do rituals and anoint his body and various other things that they weren't able to do because Jesus had died on Good Friday and Good Friday or any Friday is the beginning of the Jewish Sabbath the Jewish Holy Day is Saturday when all activity ceases and when it gets dark on a Friday evening there's nothing can be done people stop working so the ladies weren't able to do the various rituals that they had wanted to do for Jesus so they had to wait till Sunday morning Easter day so they came to the tomb and that's when they received the word from the angel that Jesus had risen from the dead okay so they weren't expecting to find that Jesus had risen his disciples certainly weren't expecting to meet him in Galilee and that he had risen from the dead and when Jesus rose from the dead they thought he would never leave them again they thought well my goodness Jesus has risen from the dead. He's not going to leave us now. He's going to be with us forever. He'll be able to teach us things that we didn't know. He'll be able to give us his support, his help, his encouragement. He'll be with us at every step of our lives and he'll never leave us. But in fact, they didn't understand that Jesus did have to return to heaven, to the Father in heaven. And that is what happened on Ascension Thursday. Now, this is a very special day when Jesus ascended. He was with the disciples for the last time and he left them and ascended into heaven. And I'm just going to read for you. It's a very short passage from the Gospel of St. Luke, boys and girls. In fact, it's the very, very last paragraph 
of the Gospel of St. Luke and I'll just read it for you now. The Ascension Then Jesus led the disciples to Bethany and lifting his hands to heaven he blessed them. While he was blessing them he left them and was taken up to heaven so they worshipped him and then returned to Jerusalem filled with great joy and they spent all of their time in the temple praising God. So boys and girls that's the very very last passage of the Gospel of St Luke. That's where St Luke's Gospel ends. It ends with the ascension of Jesus into heaven. And do you remember there I mentioned that uh, Ascension happens on a Thursday? Well, today being Thursday is Ascension Thursday. And there's actually an island in the South Atlantic Ocean. I'm not sure if you can see the map very well. I'll try and hold the globe a bit closer to the camera for you. There is the coast of Africa. And just south of the equator is this tiny little island there. And you probably won't be able to see it written on the globe but it says Ascension Island and it's ruled by Britain and it was discovered on Ascension Thursday many hundreds of years ago and that's why they named it Ascension Island so isn't that incredible the Ascension is celebrated 40 days after Easter and 40 days is important for many reasons well first of all 40 years do you wonder why 40 years is important there's anything about the Bible stories we've been looking at um, ring a bell with you 40 years? When Moses led the Jewish people from slavery from Egypt, they spent 40 years in the desert. Wasn't that incredible? And Jesus, when he after he was baptized by John the Baptist, he spent 40 days in the desert. Wasn't that incredible? 40 days he spent in, in the desert. And so 40 days after Easter, after Jesus rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven. Now what this means for us boys and girls is uh, very important to us. Jesus wasn't able to stay on earth for eternity with his disciples. At some stage he had to go back to the Father in heaven, but he gave them the gift of the Holy Spirit. And not only the disciples received the Holy Spirit, but we receive the Holy Spirit when we're baptized. So Jesus has left guidance for us in the form of the power of the Holy Spirit. So as I say, Jesus couldn't remain on earth. He couldn't stay on earth and tell the disciples everything that they should do or give them advice all the time. He knew that he had to go back to the Father in heaven. And so he left the Holy Spirit to guide and inspire. And that's what the Holy Spirit does for us. But in order to uh, receive the guidance and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we need to pray to our Lord. We need to turn to God in prayer to ask his blessing, to ask his guidance, to ask for his inspiration. Maybe there's times when we're worried or anxious like the disciples were or the ladies at the tomb. At those times to turn to the Holy Spirit, to turn to the Lord Jesus in prayer and ask him for help, for guidance and inspiration and to be with us. There's another reminder to us boys and girls that I think is pretty important with regard to the ascension and that is that things don't stay the same forever things change and especially to you uh, guys in fifth class and sixth class you're beginning to turn your thoughts now to secondary school like those who were in fifth and sixth class before you and they've moved on to other schools some are now in kilkenny college some are here in the town in mount rath community school or other schools across Leash and eventually they will come to a time where they will have to leave those schools and go on either to an apprenticeship to learn a trade or maybe they'd like to go on to college. So at every step of our lives there's going to be change and sometimes change can be a bit unsettling and especially for those of you in sixth class you're going to miss your friends in, in the senior room there in fifth class. You're going to miss maybe some of your other friends in sixth class who are going to different schools later this year 
and likewise when you go to secondary school you'll make new friends but when it comes to the end of your time in secondary school you might lose touch with some of those friends as you go on to college you might even emigrate you might leave Ireland and go to study or work in another country we don't know what's going to happen life is like that there's always going to be changes in our lives but it's important to always remember that there is one constant in our lives and that is the presence of Jesus Christ that he is with us at every step of life's journey and we have only to turn to him in prayer and he is there with us to guide and to protect us so boys and girls we'll finish now with the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples and the prayer that uh, ev unites every Christian in the world on this day when we celebrate Ascension Thursday but we also remember our brother and sister Christians in Eastern Europe and in Russia who celebrate Ascension Thursday on a different uh, day in a def different month because they use a different calendar uh, to us but we pray together the Lord's Prayer our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen boys and girls i hope you've enjoyed our assembly this morning and i look forward to seeing you again soon so god bless you all bye bye